Facebook hijacking threat on the rise, phishing campaign targets private banks, and Illusion Gap bypasses security barriers. This is Hacker Daily for Friday, September 29, 2017, and I'm your host, Marley Oxenholm. Researchers have reported an increase in activity for a Facebook hijacking threat known as FaceLiker. It's apparently a type of Trojan known for manipulating users' Facebook accounts in an effort to generate artificial likes for specific content. McAfee Labs stated, FaceLiker infects users' browsers when they visit malicious or compromised websites. It then hijacks their Facebook account clicks in such a way that users think they are liking one thing, but the malware is redirecting the click. It acts on their behalf to click another like button without their knowledge or consent, essentially making each user an accomplice in the click fraud scheme. In order to protect against threats such as FaceLiker, users should be cautious about what sites they visit online and from what resources they download files that are hosted on the web. Users should also make sure to protect their Facebook accounts and other social media profiles with two-step verification to deter malware that's capable of stealing their passwords. In other news, security experts are warning of a new phishing campaign designed to trick private banking clients into downloading malware onto their machines. Barracuda Network stated, This is appealing to criminals because the targets are of high value and already trust intimate communications from their banks. Criminals also like that in order for targets to act on these messages, they need to be connected to the internet because the viewing happens in a web portal, which means that they are now vulnerable to downloading malicious content. Once downloaded, attackers can update the script to something far more malicious, such as ransomware or an information stealer. The security vendor claimed to have seen several variations on the same theme over the past month, targeting multiple lenders such as Bank of America and TD Commercial Banking. And lastly, security researchers from CyberArk have discovered a new technique that allows malware to bypass Windows Defender, which is the standard security software that comes included with all Windows operating systems. The technique is known as Illusion Gap and relies on a mixture of both social engineering and the use of a rogue SMB server. The attack exploits a design choice in how Windows Defender scans files stored on an SMB share before execution. In order for the Illusion Gap to work, the attacker must convince a user to execute a file hosted on a malicious SMB server under his control. CyberArk says it notified Microsoft, but the company stated that they did not view it as a security issue. Well, that's all I have for you guys today, and thank you for tuning in for your current InfoSec highlights at Hacker Daily. This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. And use our promo code HackerDaily to receive 10% off on all Hacker Arsenal gear. Once again, that promo code is HackerDaily. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.